My name is Jasmine and I'm going to show you guys how to use Transferology today. And so to begin, you're going to want to go ahead and log in. You do need to make an account, but it's free and it's good forever. And the benefit of that is it'll save your classes and any programs that you run. So you can always go back in and see it again. And so then once you've logged in, we'll go ahead and start down here where it says school name and put in your current school or university. And then you'll want to select the right one. And then after that, you'll go ahead and put the term that you're taking the class for. And the nice part about this website is that you can put in classes that you've already taken, any that you're currently taking, or any that you are considering taking. And then you'll go down to the department, and you'll want to put in the department that the course is in. And this is also going to be what takes you to the course code. And then you'll want to go down, and you can select your class from here and just add it over. Once you've added it, it'll show up on the green and that's how you'll know. And you can add as many courses from as many colleges as you need to. And then once you've added those, you'll go ahead and search for matches by clicking on this green box. And so this is going to show you all the universities and colleges that your courses will transfer to. And it'll show you exactly what courses transfer as well. And so we're going to go ahead and go to see issues by clicking on that green box with the matches. And here you'll see exactly what courses transfer and it'll tell you the course codes that it transfers as as well. And then you'll see the little eye next to anything that's um, a little different. So for example, the one down here that has the plus plus, that's because it transfers as an elective. And usually that just means that we don't have a class that is an exact equivalent to it and so it'll count as that elective instead. And then over here you'll see the misses, and so that just means that we don't have anything that's equivalent to that, and so it wouldn't be able to transfer. And then over here on this right-hand side, you'll see a bit more information. You'll see that request information option, and so you can go ahead and select this at any point, and you can add in any messages or questions that you have for us regarding your credits, and that'll come straight to us. And then something else we can do over here is apply your courses to a program. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And so you want to click on that box, and that'll take you to this page. And so from here, you'll want to put in any program that you're interested in, and you can even see um, any concentration, so it's pretty thorough. And then once you've selected that program, you'll go ahead and go down here where it says see how your courses might apply to this program, and select that. It'll ask you a couple of questions. And go ahead and just complete those. And then once you've done that, you'll see this green box up in the corner that says success. And if you click on that, that's what will take you to your program. And so you'll see here, um, you'll see any that you've done previously and any that um, for any program. So if you ever do them for multiple programs, you can go ahead and look at them and compare them. And then the key here is to go up to that refresh button and click on that. And then once that's done loading, you'll go ahead and tap on that program right there, and it'll take you to the degree audit. And so this is where it'll show you if your courses transfer towards the program and what they apply for towards the program. And so the key here is to look at that left-hand side and that'll tell you exactly if it transfers and what it counts as for your program and even what you have left. And so if we go down here, you can kind of see, um, for example, the math class that we put in has that green check. So what that tells us is that it is going to go ahead and transfer and it's going to count towards the math class required for this program. But you'll see underneath that that the writing class did not count and it has that red X. So that what that tells us is that that writing class does not count for that requirement for that program. But the nice part about this is it has the options of classes you can take that will count. And so it helps you out um, with what your pop possibilities and options are from there. And so then we're going to go ahead and go back to this transferology page. And from here you can see on this top bar you can go back to your matches at any point or back to your programs at any point. And if you realize you want to add a couple more classes as well, you can go ahead and go back to that main page. And so that's how to use Transferology. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and stop by our office or give us a call.